Today at Coyote Classics, this 1952 Chevy Bel Air two-door hardtop is finally ready to go on the website. Um, we took this car in on trade a month or so ago and just kind of finished up a lot of loose ends on it that the previous owner didn't get a chance to finish. Uh, this car was just beautifully restored. They went ahead and put on four wheel disc brakes, riding on a set of Riddler rims that just look fantastic. I mean, every angle of this car, everywhere you look at this car, is just absolutely show quality. The builder of this car really knew what he was doing. Um, he went ahead and uh, put a rebuilt 400 GM motor in there, metal brought carburetor, performer intake, it's got uh, ceramic headers, power steering, four wheel power disc brakes, working air conditioning, electric fan, aluminum radiator, and check what he did to the engine department. He did it in a beautiful two tone with the firewall gorgeous. Still has its original trim tag up there. Every ounce of this car is just done beautifully. You still hear all the bolts and stuff. They're all, everything was taken apart, painted, put back together. This is an awesome street ride. You don't even see too many of these 52 um, hard tops, just as uh, regular original cars. And then to go ahead and uh, street ride one this beautiful, it's just, this car should. Uh, be a very popular car at the car shows. It's got a really nice stance to it. Um, it's got some nice wide tires in the back that clear beautifully. If you look up and down the sides, the paint job's all been buffed to a beautiful shine. It's got a laser straight body, gorgeous chrome. As we uh, go down here to the front bumper and grill, turning signal lenses, chrome around them, everything's been completely re-chromed and, and done. It's got the uh, the new style headlights in it. Hood gap is perfect on the passenger side. Lines up very nicely to the top of the fender. We've got some uh, fingerprint marks here, but that just shows you how nice the paint is. Pass driver side the same way. The front clip on this car is absolutely perfect. I don't see a chip, a scuff anywhere on that hood or front fender here on the passenger side. We've got one tiny little chip. Let me get back into focus right here along the edge of that door. Um, lower fender's perfect, no paint imperfections anywhere there. It has uh, the Deluxe Chrome's original, still looks real good. And this gives you a good look at those Riddler rims. It's got 18s in the front, two, uh, 25, 50, 225, 45, 18s on the front, with disc brakes all the way around. As far as our lower door and rocker area, it's got the new rocker molding. That's brand new with the new clips. No bubbles or blisters down low anywhere. The front of that rear quarter is perfect as well. As we go up and over that rear wheel well on the passenger side, the paint is fantastic. There's no chips anywhere or scratches in that paint. The paint looks a mile deep. I know we've had a lot of people wait for this car. We've had it described. Uh, a lot of people wait for this car to get up on the website. I just wanted to make sure it was right before we did that. And uh, it, I'll tell you what, guys, it turned out great. It's got the blue dot tail lights, new chrome bezels around the uh, rear brake lights, new lenses, new back bumper, new bumper guard, new license plate light. All of that was completely redone. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, you're gonna see all the pictures of the undercarriage. There's approximately 25 there. Um, shows you how they did the subframe, a dual exhaust, all that kind of stuff. Just a very solid uh, car. Inside the trunk is all carpeted with a Chevy bow tie and a spare. Or a, I'm sorry, there's not a spare in there, but the battery's been moved into the trunk. All covered in carpet, very nicely done. Even though we have a car here that's just absolutely gorgeous and awesome build, there's still a couple things that need to be done. Um, we've got a bunch of chrome in with the car when it came, but it needs the two correct pieces for back here on the rear, uh, the glass, and then uh, the piece that goes around the windshield, that chrome still needs to be done. Um, when they did all the chrome, it looks like they re-chromed all the door handles, the mirrors, all that stuff has been re-chromed. Um, it's got the working flappers up here. 
It's a little cold outside. I'm gonna go ahead and start our heat. This thing's got vintage air and heat, and they did a beautiful job. It blows nice and cold. Uh, it's got an awesome council of velvet council matches beautifully to the carpet cup holders in here it's got the gorgeous shifter all nicely done tucked in the console it's got white leather interior it's got a pilot steering wheel tilt column it's got uh, omega custom instrumentation gauges in it so it's got your gas gauge full gauge temp gauge um, oil pressure all that works it's got your uh, indicator up here in a digital fashion and that works properly the speedometer works well Got a Pioneer CD player in it, works perfectly. The dash paint is absolutely flawless, just like the exterior paint, the firewall and all that. Um, inside trim pieces are all painted beautifully. The headliner is fantastic, and the chrome bows are all nice in the headliner. The back lights work, the back shelf works great. We do have a couple speakers underneath the uh, back shelf, and we have a few little holes in there to let the sound come through. If we look around the back window area, all that is painted, the chrome is beautiful, just fantastic inside here. Um, back leather seat is in great shape, door panels, all four corners are all brand new, carpet's new. Did a nice job when they installed the vintage air here. It's got power seat in the uh, driver's side and in the passenger side. It's also got some nice seat belts up front. I don't see any seat belts in the rear. Um, these rubbers here are brand new. Check out our paint in the door jams. Um, absolutely no expense spared on the paint job on this 52 Tudor hardtop. Door shuts well. Car's got a fantastic stance. Again, not a lot of 52s out there, especially not any this nice. Did a great job when they painted. Look at the paint job even in here. Where a lot of people skip out at is like on this back package tray and stuff. And the paint on the back package tray is just as nice as the paint on the rear quarters, hood, everything else. They did a great job on this car. Dual exhaust sounds good. Again, that uh, it's supposed to be a 400 small block is what I was told. A 700 R4, four-speed automatic transmission. We just went ahead and adjusted the kick down on that as well. Got that working properly. Check out the detail in here again. Kind of just really shows you what quality of paint job they put on this car when they did it. As far as our quarter panel, the rear quarter is perfect on the driver's side. No chips, blisters, blemishes. Um, we have a little chip here on the uh, rocker panel, on the top of the rocker panel on the inside there. Other than that, our lower fender, lower door. Chrome is excellent. The gap is nice from top to bottom. Door opens and closes good. You don't have to slam it. Again, the jam paint is beautiful. They went ahead and put new chrome, they even chrome the door hint, the uh, door latch. Here's how nice that window goes up, guys. Super smooth, new rubber, nice chrome around the window. Corners of both of the doors, all of the door jam paint is perfect. Give you a really good idea how nice these doors are here. Finally, I get to be inside. Man, it's nice and warm in here. That vintage air and heat is just really the way to go on these uh, muscle cars and street rods, for that matter. The air works, the heat works. The gas gauge works, guys, but it's just not 100% accurate. The speedometer works, oil pressure gauge, amp gauge, everything works that way. As far as our indicator goes here, we're in uh, drive right now, so that's working properly. The paint on the dash from right to left is just metallic on, it's perfect. We do have electric wipers, they work. I also have a rear view mirror. Um, just with this, 
being cold, I need to redo it. It came done, so it came undone, so we have to put that on. <laughs> wow, this thing has the power, guys. You talk about a fast car. Front suspension on this thing is perfect. It goes down the road, absolutely perfect. Does not need alignment. Again, it's got some slicks on the back, not slicks, I should say, but some meats on the back where this thing really hooks up and goes. I mean, I'd put this car against any muscle car that I have in the lot right now. Here's our four wheel disc brakes. Power, absolutely perfect. No pull left or right, nice full paddle. up and goes guys tons of power 70 mile an hour just like that if you're looking for an absolutely gorgeous show quality paint comfortable leather interior power seat air conditioning and all the power you can handle in a 50s car this is it 